NASA finally dropped their highest quality high-rise image of 3i Atlas. And honestly, this is it? Let's compare it with what amateur astronomers are capturing right now. Some of these images show more structure, more jets, and more tail detail from farther away than NASA's billion-dollar hardware. Yes, high-rise photographed it before perihelion, and amateurs have an advantage after. But even then, this is the best NASA can give us? With multiple orbiters and spacecraft scattered throughout the solar system? People have the right to be skeptical of the best images we are being allowed to see. Now, does this mean 3i Atlas is artificial? Of course not. If anything, the new amateur images push it more toward a natural origin. But it still doesn't behave like a normal comet, no matter how hard mainstream explanations try to force that label. And even if it ends up being completely natural, anyone who studies astrology knows that any celestial body can influence consciousness, even asteroids. There's literally a whole field called asteroid astrology. And for the skeptics, just remember JP Morgan's famous line, millionaires don't use astrology, billionaires do. Now, back in September, I suggested 3i Atlas might leave something behind, physically or mentally. Let's explore what that mental imprint could be. If you've heard Chris Bledsoe talk, you know he's been pointing to mid-March, the spring equinox of 2026. A moment when the star Regulus symbolically gazes upon the Sphinx and a new knowledge emerges for humanity. And here's the wild part. Around that same time, in mid-March, not only does 3i Atlas reach its closest point to Jupiter, but Earth also moves closest to the path of 3i Atlas. Not directly through its trajectory, but close enough that depending on how the solar wind disperses or preserves its debris, we could brush past leftover material. Remember, space doesn't behave the way we expect. Objects drift in strange, unpredictable ways, so there is no guarantee that all dust and fragments will be blown away by mid-March. Some debris can absolutely linger. Which brings us to the question, could the remnants of 3i Atlas play a role in the mid-March event Chris Bledsoe has been predicting for years? I'm not saying it'll happen, but the timing, the alignment, the trajectory, it's all a little too interesting to ignore.